Hi, let's welcome to the part 24. Real certification questions on AZ 900. Subscribe to my channel. Please refer this whole playlist to guarantee your success in AZ 900 certification exam. There is also one more playlist on AZ 900. It is an old one, but the questions are still relevant. There are other playlists here on Azure, AWS and so on. Do refer those. So for previous questions, please refer that playlist. There are several parts, parts 1 to 23. Let's jump into this question. The first question is asking about GDPR. See, whenever you see GDPR, it is related to Europe. Data from Europe cannot move outside. So it is for data protection and privacy rules. That is yes. Let's move to the second one around GDPR. Is it does it apply to the companies which offers goods and services to individuals in the EU? Yes, it applies to them. It also applies to other people. For example, if you are working for TCS Infosys, you cannot take their data out and transfer into your own data centers of premises. So it also applies to other people as well but the folks in eu cannot move the data out this is yes the third one suggests azure can be used to build a gdpr compliant infrastructure yes azure is already gdp gdpr compliant if you want to build such infrastructure you can do it just yes there are several compliance that azure provides so it, you can provide GDPR compliant infrastructure using Azure as well as ISO, IEC, EU, US privacy and see these are all the compliance stuff for HIPAA, high tech and so on. So let's lock this answer, move forward. Let's look at this, which ones provide organizations ability to manage compliance. So whenever you see compliance, either it is GDPR or Azure policies because Azure policies you can use to enforce organizational standards. This is very important. Resource groups is used for a very different purpose because you can logically align your resources in a resource group. This is not used for compliance. Similarly, management groups has the same stuff and app service plan is having a very different utility compared to this requirement. It is used in a microservice based environment. So this is the final answer. Let's look at this one. Which one is the process of verifying user credentials? See, don't get confused between authorization and authentication. Federation and ticketing is crap bullshit. Just kick it out. Okay. So out of authorization and authentication, there is one answer. The answer is authentication. Why? Because you no, know, it user credentials means you're trying to authenticate someone what is authorization suppose someone got authenticated suppose you are on a application like cognos bi or microsoft bi it goes to active directory power bi it hits active directory it authenticates whether this user is a valid user yes it is a valid user ad says boss it is a valid user now it comes back when it comes back now what happens is Power BI will authorize this user whether this user can is authorized to access these 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 reports or can access only HR reports or can access only finance reports and so on. So this is the final answer. Always remember authorization is done by the application themselves like Power BI does it. Authentication is done by Active Directory or LDAP systems. Let's look at this one. <coughs> See, you want to understand what, how does Microsoft process the data and what is the purpose of processing the data? These are all put in services privacy agreement. If you go to online services privacy agreement, you can see that. So example here, this is the privacy agreement. It gives you how personal data is processed by Microsoft, how it processes it and what is the purpose and so on. Just a tip to not confuse between this one and first one online service level agreement is different and services privacy statement is different privacy statement is totally that we are taking your data will we keep it private or will we sell your data to make money man so this is the right answer let's move forward now this is the last question of this video there are three questions please read it carefully the first one says you can create group policies in ad yes you can See what is group policy? It is a virtual collection of policy settings. This is important. Okay. 
so you can create it this is the answer is yes the second one says you can join windows 10 devices to ad yes it you can join that seamlessly no problem at all you can see this whole tutorial on this subject how to join it with ad so for this android devices the answer is it is yes i'll show you a documentation to prove it so you can see this documentation here it clearly says you can join with android support also and how to do it it has explained the scenario here so this is the final answer let's lock this question and this brings us to the end of this part please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you want full assurance to pass this certification exam on az 900 please refer this playlist it has tons of videos also there is another playlist which is an old one but the questions are still relevant see you in the next part bye